is up fellas, welcome to another exciting episode of Blueberry Fishing. Today we are fishing with Adam from Likeable Boss, he has a YouTube channel, go check him out, link in the description below. His YouTube channel is Likeable Boss and Thorn Gap Peterson aka White Boy Gap and we are fishing in the jungles of Malaysia. FYI, if you're from the PUB or the M Park, don't write me any letters because I'm not fishing in Singapore, this is Malaysia. Let's see if we can catch some b b b b bass Now, so what I decided to start with first was a small sinking minnow like the Spiriu sinking 60mm and what I do is I cast parallel to the bank and I let it sink and I give it like short twitches and I let it sink again while it flutters down because it's a Spiriu has a fluttering action when it sinks it is very attractive to the fish and also Spiriu can cast really far because it's quite dense and it's at 6 grams even though it's about only 60mm and actually I didn't get the bite casting to the banks as you can see this time I casted out ooh and I got a bite casted out like not parallel but like 45 degrees uh, yeah and then so I got a bite on a uh, small tamensis as you can see here very cool there was a there was like a small school of them as I think Adam or I think Adam uh, Adam or Gap. One of them uh, they hook up with they hook up with one prior to me hooking up with this one. Or is it after? I don't even remember, it's quite long already. But yeah, check this out. It's a nice small Tammy. Beautiful colors. Now the hooks out. Yeah, this is the Spiru color scheme is uh, silver with chrome with a uh, pink top and like red dots on it to simulate bleeding big fish like cause yeah uh, cause like apparently bleeding big fish is attractive to predatory fish because they look like they're gonna die soon yeah it's not a big fish it's quite small but this is the first fish of the day oh yeah and it's raining quite heavily as you can see from the water droplets on the water surface right here but actually uh yeah it was raining quite heavily but the fish was not shut down Completely, they may be shut down from top water bite, but they were actually chasing our our lures quite actively under the when we were fishing sinking lures, something that runs under the surface. So that was pretty cool. All right, now after catching that fish, we decided to try and head deeper into the into the jungle along the perimeter of the lake to try and find another fishing spot. When I encounter one of the creepiest thing I have ever encountered. Uh, basically, I think anywhere, man. Shit, it was, it was freaking creepy. Like I'm having goosebumps. My hair is standing up right now as I, as I'm narrating this. And this is the footage from it. So basically, we are going deeper into this trail, along the perimeter of the of the lake to try and find another try and find another access point by the lake that we can cut our lines. And. Yeah, and the path, the path was getting narrower and narrower as you can see. Uh, like it's not, tr it's not well traveled. This path is not, it's not, it's not well traveled. Uh. Not many people travel it. The uh, the path is a bit overgrown with vegetation from the side and on the top, and we have like fallen logs and shit. And some some parts you even have to crouch down to cross it. And then that's when is it this corner? Oh man, it's this fucking corner, man. Okay, okay, okay. Pause, pause. Okay, as you can see from here, the top left corner, there's this creepy orange line tied to a tree, and then it's connected to another tree that is out of the angle that you can't see it. But uh, this is pretty high. It doesn't look high on the uh from this angle because of the GoPro camera angle, and you can't see that in front. It actually goes downhill a little bit, uh, so that tree is sitting on lower ground than, than what I'm standing on. So basically, on top of that tree, there was this, uh, there was this, uh, we need a pool stuffed toy that is sitting neatly in a pail. And this was not a, a small stuffed toy either, it was about the size of maybe like uh, a two-year-old kid or a three-year-old kid. Yeah, it was the size of that stuffed toy and it's sitting on in a pail and it's on top of that tree it's above the it's a bit on top of the orange line 
and it was at a place that no no casuals would place it there for like for fun or anything it was it was something creepy someone took the effort to actually climb the tree four or five meters high and placed it there and this was about 45 minutes hike into the jungle we were about 50 minutes from the nearest road so the person that put this here must be like I don't know man he must have like either serious mental issues or like doing some black magic rituals man it's creepy as fuck but anyway yeah and beside that beside that we need a pool stuff toy there was actually another thing which was uh it was on a tree beside it too it was a red lantern a western style red lantern with like uh I don't know six or eight sides uh. and then it was big too it was it wasn't like uh, those Chinese small lantern, you know, it was actually big and that also scared the shit out of me so basically I turned over to Adam and Gap and I told him what I saw and then we basically noped the hell out of there we were like nope 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 and turned back and just like oh man I'm gonna f I'm gonna fish where, where I fish again man I can cast 10,000 casts at the same spot I ain't going past that man yeah Oh, and I, and I, of course, I shouldn't leave out the bravery that I witnessed on this day from Topless Thorn, aka Ang Morget. He basically, I told him this, what I saw, and me and Adam was like, nope. But, but this Gap, he decided he was trying to convince us to go on with him, to press on. Uh, he thinks that it's just a prank, but me and Adam was like, hell no. We decided to just fish uh, the same spots that we were fishing just now and hopefully catch a beginner too.
Alright, alright, alright. That was about a two pounder. Caught him on this uh, Rapala Countdown Abachi 5 cm. Cast it out, let it sink, and it got whacked. Bam! Landed the fish. That was epic. And in this clip, uh, Adam hooks up with a big fish, which dove down and wrapped him around some branch. And so, Gab over here, he's like, Dude, bro, don't worry about it. I got this. And he, he went swimming to help. Adam take out that fish. So here it is. Here's Gap, he's like, yo bro, I got this man. I got this. And here he goes. Hopefully you don't get eaten by a crocodile. Brave white or a snake or something. Hey, you got lip grip, right? Okay, okay. That's a big tree. <laughs> Alright, and over here I switched back to a spear you, casted it out and started twitching it like this. Oh and I hooked up with a fish. I know my last video, my artificial drag sound for my mouth is very popular, but today I've upgraded crap, I can't get this out. Woo! Just imagine. Oh crap, I cannot. Oh yeah, that's the sound. Oh yeah. Just imagine this right now. Woo! It almost got me into some branches on the left, as you can see over there. Oh, 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 almost to another branch as well. This was a this was a decent fish. Ooh, look at it jump. About a two pounder as well. I wait later on, it's about a two. Beautiful fish. Oh man. Oh, 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 I think he's like in a hurdle Olympics or something. Oh, landed it. Awesome. Landed it on a 60mm sphere. You. This is a Tamensis. Beautiful looking fish. Peacock bass are one of my favorite fish in uh favorite fish to catch in general. Look at how beautiful they are. Yeah, bright yellow cheeks, bright yellow belly. Here's Gap taking a picture for me. Oh man. And time for the release. Not the most gracious release. It, it started flopping here. Oh man. Oh, I'm sorry, fish. I am sorry. But he's well on his way. That was sick. And over here, uh, as I was having a snack, Thorn, he hooks up with... He was throwing this Prue... Uh, sinking pencil that was like gigantic, it was 28 grams or 38 grams, I forgot how, how heavy it was, but it was huge. And he hooks up, he cuts it out really far and he hooks up with a peacock bass over here and he's fighting it. Oh. But unfortunately the peacock bass came off the hook, actually I think it broke the split ring or the hook or the, or the ring that holds the split ring. I forgot but he lost it. And before this, he caught another big one on this Prue pencil. It's a huge lure. And he's looking at the hook now, and he's like, Oh man, it broke the hook. <laughs> that was funny. He's like, Oh well, I'm just gonna cast it again. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting how he hooks up with like... Uh, he hooks up with one giant one before this that I didn't manage to get on tape. And then he hooks up on one okay one, and then, another, and then this one, which broke, broke him off. So that's that's sad for him. Too bad for him, man. But hey, that's fishing. All right, that's all I got for today. For today, thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I upload new videos almost every week. Uh, uh what else do I have to say? Uh, go follow likable boss Adam, and go follow Gap on Instagram. His Instagram is gonna be on the screen right now, and. That's all folks, see you again very soon.